okay the three phase of the rope that is what we are still considering the three phase of the web the very the very first one is the web portal the web portal in which it discusses or it talks about a personalized website your website it is not for uh everybody's use it is only when you give somebody your website url that is the only time somebody can have access to your website and get information about your product and services so that was the web portal so every business every organization it is a must it is a must when you go into business we design website for clients and after the whole process we run ads we help them manage their social media platforms running of ads designing of their ads copy content writing web development so we handle all these things in our uh, uh, as part of the services that we render the IT section uh, so basically if you run a business without a website uh, you are you are just starting so any serious contract that will come to you the company that wants to award you such a contract will ensure that they go through your websites go through your Facebook handles and every other thing your YouTube channel to ensure that you are genuine so you need to have a website the need for a website should be your priority when you start when you are starting a business you can learn how to design it or you pay people to design it for you it's up to you so that is for the web portal but there is another three phases of the web uh, there is another one that we talk about search engine search engine so what's a search engine like now you want to browse you want to research you want to do research you will not go to www.softwarelimited.com for your research or asukas.com these are web portals we said this so you you want to do your research uh, our, our our website will not be able to handle that there is another place that you need to go when you have internet access you log into any of the search engine available so let's take at uh, let's take a look at uh, uh, the number two which is the search engine so search engine is a program or software that searches searches for items imputed by a user within a database so there is always a database that information about anything you, that you can think of in this world uh, is always uh, deposited that matches certain keywords or phrases on the World Wide Web, www. So on the World Wide Web, um, there are thousands, millions of information concerning a particular topic that you want to do research on. There is a big difference between the search engine and the web browser. Uh, let's look at the difference between the search engine and the web browser so that you'll be able to know exactly what we are talking about here what is web browser what is search engine because we are coming into this industry you should be able to know uh, those differences so let's take a closer look at the differences between the web browser and the search engine uh, basically when you want to search for information you have to use your search engine not the web browser the web browser is a is an is a software that will enable you have access to information it's just a software so a web browser is a software application used to retrieve data from web pages or html files present in the server so search engine is a kind of website where a user can search for information and the result based on the same uh, are displayed on the screen so if I want to go to uh, any website I will need a web browser because before I can assage, uh, I have access to information so 
a, a web browser use graphical interface to help users experience an interactive online session on the world wide web a search engine has three main components search index scroller search algorithm uh, let's just move on to know exactly no database of its own only comprised of memory to store catch and cookies it has its own database uh, we want to know example of multiple web browsers can be installed on a single device you do not need to install a search engine in your system so it's already there so but when you want to use a web browser you need to install it in your system like google chrome uh, other web browsers that you know about so example is the chrome the firefox mozilla internet explorer um, opera mini those are web browsers those are web browsers so if you want to access the web if you want to that this is when where i was looking for leave, leave all those stories leave all those stories so this was where, where i was looking for so if you want to uh, have access to the search engine you need a software if you don't install that software inside of your system some of them come uh, pre-installed some of them come pre-installed if you have watched uh, our computer appreciation you understand what i mean some of them come pre-installed inside of the uh, software that is the operating system so but some of them you need to install them when you finish formatting your system so example of web browser it's coco chrome coco chrome you can think of firefox you can think of uh, mozilla uh, internet explorer or Mini. but when you are talking of uh, search engine you can see google yahoo being asked and the rest so those are basically some of the uh, search engine and the web browsers that is available so the number three is the social network social network what are social networks so let's take a closer look at the difference between social network and social social media sorry and social network what is the difference between social media and social network? Some people, or when they come online, it does that they, you, they might be online for the very first time. So they need, most people, they don't even un understand how to navigate the social media platforms. They don't understand how to navigate the social media platform. So this information will help them understand how to navigate which one is social media which one is social so social media and social network might be used interchangeably but they are entirely different from each other they are not the same so thinking of the term media alone reminds us of the different athletes we use to disseminate information so when we are thinking of uh, media that means there are other ways we can like when we can use newspaper um sending on and every other one but now when we say social media social media it's talking about the internet it's talking about the internet the newspaper the magazine the television the local town crier etc that both medium are basically using physical medium uh, so if you still use newspaper billboards uh, flyers and bills there are still ways of disseminating information but that one there are done physically that those ones are i will not say it's analog because some um, it's still jealous on result but these days social media uh, plays critical role in our businesses it enables you uh, uh, showcase your business your product to as many clients as many people as possible uh, newspaper might not go that viral magazine might not go that viral television might not go viral but the social media is a bomb <laughs> it's a bomb we have used it to our own advantage we run ads if you need uh, a company to handle all your ads uh, uh, for you we are ready so if you want us to web design website for you we are ready so their both medium are basically using physical medium that those are traditional outlets when we add the word social the vibes changes here yeah. when we add the word uh, social the vibes changes the medium changes so there is a total change of the platform we use an online platform when we are saying social media we use the web we use the internet 
uh, that is the reason we are telling you to understand this thing so not the physical platform again we are not using the physical platform again social media make use of the technology component to assess its audience and it's very flexible in terms of information dissemination and consumption uh, where you were able to communicate or get in contact with us through the social media handle so platform uh, it would have been very difficult for you to get access to us without the social media so social media is an internet based way to publish or broadcast digital content that your audience can carefully interact with as simple as possible but social network on the other hand is a dedicated website or programs which enables people to communicate comment message and interact with each other etc example is facebook that is a social network so you need to understand the difference between social media and social network social media and social network so any information dissemination that we do on the net it's it, it's it's entirely different from uh, the one we do, do, do physically so but those medium that we use to disseminate this information are termed social network so um, social network on the other hand is a dedicated website it's also a website like you go to Facebook, the web, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, WhatsApp, TikTok, etc. There are social networks. There are social network, but social media is uh, uh, make use of the technology component to assess its audience. So that is exactly what you need to understand the difference between social media and social network. So let's proceed don't be afraid going digital because uh it's part of our daily life and it has come to stay it has come to stay so please don't be afraid don't be scared going digital experiment and understand how technology plays a critical role in your business and embrace it simple you have to experiment we have experimented and it works for us and we stick to it so social media make use of the technology component to assess its audience and it's very flexible uh, we already said something about this as a business owner an investor or a professional solar system installer you need more than one skill you yes you need more than one skill to succeed in the business world especially if you are starting out and you don't have the financial muscle to pay professionals to stand in for you so you have to learn or if you have already if you are already established you have to pay people to do this work for you so please and please my advice is if you don't know where to run to if you don't know where to run to run to us run to us and we will work with you help you achieve your goal when any business transaction is mentioned don't be intimidated uh, going online it's it's a learning process it's a learning curve you need to learn new skill if you cannot learn work with people that are already there and you will surely get there